You're watching Good Day Austin on Fox 7. Back now with etiquette expert Diane Gottsman talking about a very important topic that you probably are going to have to face at one time or another in your life, some people more than others, speaking in public. And I want to say, as someone who does the show every day, mm -hmm. it's a different skill to speak in front of a crowd, even to do what we do. I was just going to ask yeah, you, is it different so. when you're yeah. sitting here versus when you go out and speak? And mm -hmm. I would assume it would be, Because right? that live feedback. Yeah. Yes. And it gets some people pretty nervous. That's and you've got right. some tips to kind of help people out. And you're right. Everyone is going to experience this. Mm -hmm. So we can all use this at different levels, depending on, we are all public speakers. Mm -hmm. Whether we're just in front of our kids, just PTA, mm -hmm. you know, whoever. So these yep. are going to be good for everybody. Okay, so we've got some uh, tips you've put together. Let's uh, take a look at the first one that you suggest uh, write a draft so don't wing it <laughs> you are not going to remember when you get sure? that that's podium. what I do every day oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so you have to write it down it's going to help you commit it to memory and that's going to even if you get off you know off course they don't know it out in the audience and then you know I say record yourself on video it's it's excruciating and informative it's all at the same time yeah. you just have to because the only way you get better I mean as, as somebody who works in television Practice, practice, I, I, right, and, and yes. the more you see yourself, the better you get, and you see those mistakes that oh, you make. Oh, and you know, it's it's a tough thing, but you have to mm -hmm. critique yourself yeah. right. because that's how you know you might be scratching when you don't think you're I scratching. Have it, you know, a little tick that you don't <laughs> want to show. Or yes. Those crutch words. One, one last thing, back to the draft, Diane. Is it okay to have more of a loose outline if you don't want to quite go word for it, just to kind of a, to know where you want to navigate, depending well, on what yes. works for you? You know, I think that it's important to have to have a loose outline, but if you get off track. You get off track mm -hmm. again they don't know that right. you skipped over a couple of bullets and and, and don't say oh, oh oh i need to go back right. just just do it or forget it okay. you know just yeah. just leave it <laughs> but, but, you back to it. No, right. but you're going you to know go. what you're going to say generally if you have it down in paper mm -hmm. but again you don't want to hold it and read it right you want to <laughs> put it down if you have to bring something up bring an index mm -hmm. card up but right. just and and don't stay behind the podium move around oh, okay. let people see you especially if, you, if there's a handheld mic i know that helps and that so important because I say don't mess with your mic. Mm -hmm. And what that means is know what your mic is going to look like. Is it a lapel mic, a handheld mic, a podium up at the podium? And don't don't get there. And this is a sign of an inexperienced and nervous speaker. Can you hear me? Oh, da, da, yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> like a little feedback going. Yeah. Yeah. And end with confidence. It kind of gets to all that stuff. Just be confident with what you're saying. I think messing with your mic or having different ticks or not speaking up shows that you're not confident. Yes, and no up speak. So mm -hmm. if it's a sentence, if it's a statement, Ooh. don't end with a question. No so question mark in no, the end. No, unless try to give us an ex example. Uh, let, let me see if I can write a draft, a solid first step. So, yeah, right, exactly. That's, that's, that's what a question mark sounds like. Yeah, that's right. So, you got it. You know, but it's I such a habit for a lot of people. It's a habit because it's a nervous habit. It's one of those things that you're going to notice when you're watching yourself mm -hmm. back on video. And you know, you want to maintain eye contact with your audience, which means that you want to pretend that you're a bee or a fly or a mosquito. You want to land three to five seconds on each person's face. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, if you can't see them, if there's so many out there, let's say you have an audience of a hundred or six hundred, you may not see them directly. Just Land, talk, speak, move, talk, speak. It'll Instead of darting, scanning, so looking nervous. If it's a big crowd, blowing always, on your always mic. look at the back wall. So <laughs> yeah. it looks like I'm looking at the people, but if it's a smaller crowd, yeah, you got to make that eye contact. You have to make yeah. that. It, it makes the connection and ask for questions and answers. Okay. I think it's really important to get Just your don't drop audience the mic. That's it. involved. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed it. And the icebreakers, oh my gosh, oh unless boy. it's relevant, skip it. Don't make people get up and take their shoes off and do silly things, and it has nothing to do with what oh, you're like about that. to say because you're just going to leave people angry now the lame icebreaker is that different than people saying hey start with a joke depending ah, on the situation oh my gosh well oh, unless well. you can make that joke <laughs> land okay you may not want to like, start this with is that a joke. memorial service day <laughs> you're, crickets, you're like Whoa, crickets. Crickets. you know nothing's worse is nothing is worse than saying something you think is funny and it's crickets Boy, out there isn't that true oh, oh, my gosh. Gosh. That's that's not i should sport. know it's yeah. and then it makes yeah. you more nervous yes yes and then powerpoint you know okay i think there's some value in a powerpoint Point, but it's not the main focus. Mm -hmm. it, you should be the make, main focus on what you say and tell stories. Don't keep pointing up, up here. You know, you have to speak no. here. Okay. Think, think Steve Jobs, right? A couple right? other points yes. here. Uh, the power of the pause and, and uh, 
Make get sure a, you're ready. That's right. Get a good night's rest. And if you really are that nervous, get some professional training. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you look good in front of that crowd or they're not going to ask you back, especially if they're paying you. Well, <laughs> you that, know, that's very important. Know your job. Are you going to be asked to do this once in a decade or are you going to be probably doing this once every two or three months and you might really want to invest in part of your career? Invest in yourself mm -hmm. and you feel more confident. Mm -hmm. And again, get a good night's rest. You don't want to show up with bags under your eyes and nervous and you don't know where to park and you, you know, do a drive straight. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Calm. We run a foul of some of these on good, good day hospital <laughs> nights, out rest and outlines. No, <laughs> great. But no, it's very good. We try. Because like I said, it is a different skill. And it's like anything else. You develop the skill as you practice it and get yeah. better at it. Yes. Okay. Diane, thank you so much. We You're appreciate welcome. it. I miss the red carpet, though. <laughs> I know. She misses that, too. Yeah, from her Oscar party. Yeah. She's going to bring a red carpet when she shows up.